Hey, it's Crab and Go. I just wanted to show these gorgeous flowers that my husband got me for Valentine's Day. I absolutely love them. Aren't they pretty? It's a dozen red roses. They came from the grocery store. If you look at them, you know how they come all wrapped up in the wrapper and everything like that. Well, I'm going to show you some ideas on how to cut them to make them look more like they came from a florist. Um, let me see. I'm going to try to spin them around so you can see a few different angles here of the flowers. Um, these were pretty. Something key to look for is more than two different kinds of things in here, such as if you look right there, it looks like a eucalyptus sort of thing same thing there with this looks like a some sort of a eucalyptus possibly it has the little baby's breath in there of course the really pretty red roses and that is just so pretty coming up through there it's gorgeous and then down here you have the greenery Usually when you get flowers at the grocery store, though, they only have two components. They'll usually have just the greenery and the roses. So if you can find some that have the baby's breath, which is their white, fluffy things, it's just so much prettier. And I'm just turning these around a little bit. What I wanted to show you, first of all, is that this is an old vase that I kept from some flowers that he bought me a few years ago. So if you have any really pretty vases that you keep, it's always nice to keep one that's colored because it looks prettier, especially for Valentine's, than just the regular clear glass. And what I did with these, it was just pretty simple. I know I'm not the greatest flower arranger in the whole world. I'm probably gonna move these around a little bit more and try to figure out how I like them the best. But one thing I did do that I learned as a trick is to not cut the stems all the same size. So if you look here, I cut the stems in three different groups. I cut two right there that you see that were just really short. And then I cut these, um, this length here. And then these right here, I left a little bit, uh, well, I took more off to actually, so it made them shorter. So I have four that are just a lot shorter in there, such as this one right here that you'll see. And I have several that are gonna be the same height. And then I have two that are really tall. Uh, they're really tall, this right here being one of them. One of the ones that I kept really tall in there. And then the same thing on the other pieces, I just kinda of cut them in varied lengths as well. And I just absolutely love it. If you're looking to not spend a whole lot of money on flowers, looking about a week or a few days or so before um, Valentine's and also going to your local grocery store, you're probably gonna get a better deal on flowers. Um, again, I absolutely love these. Uh, with the packet right there that they gave me. Oh, let me go over that. <laughs> I only used half of this packet. As you can see, I know there's some more. I'm gonna fold that in half, put a rubber band around it, put it up where no kids will get in it because it's poisonous. And what will happen is when I change this water in a few days and I have to add some more uh, fresh water to it, I will have the other half of that packet to do so. Again, these are absolutely gorgeous, nothing to difficult, but the key in trying to make it look like something that you would actually get as delivered roses would be, and to try and to uh, make sure you cut the stem so that you can fluctuate on the rose height. And you can also use this method with other flowers as well, not, not just roses, 
Um, you can use this same technique with many other flowers. But just making sure you get some different length and height and things like that in there is, is very helpful. And back in the background, you still see our wreath hanging from Christmas that we made. I absolutely love the wreath and it has the hearts in there with the candy canes. So I thought that would perfectly hang well, at least through Valentine's Day because of the hearts that are in there. And it's also red and white, so it kind of goes with Valentine's too. Okay, this is Grab and Go Advice. I hope you enjoy the, the flowers and the idea on cutting those stems at least three different sizes to try to help you figure out how to make it look more like something that would come from the florist. Okay, spread peace, love, and happiness. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Take care, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day coming up. God bless.